What's up my fine apples? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have my best of 2018 lippies. I'm going to be showing you my favorite lipsticks, lip balms, and lip treatments. I will not be doing my best of 2018 skincare. Just give me a couple weeks because I have some new skincare products that are actually um, blowing some of my old favorites out of the water where I'd rather just show you the creme de la creme uh, but I will be doing a skincare video eventually just not the best of 2018 so don't worry that will come if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet so please subscribe it is free 99 and click that bell I upload on my channel every Tuesday and Thursday and my blog channel is what would Lizzie vlog okay also I'm trying not to look up so I don't have the reflection I'm trying to just look straight on my glasses are from Zenny and let's get on with it Okay, let's start off with lip treatments. Let's start off with the first one. It Cosmetics is Genesis Qua. This is a bomb freaking lip balm in lipstick form. It is clear. I can use this every single day. It gives a very slight stain. I naturally have pigmented lips, so usually when things like this give a slight stain, I get a little bit scared, and my lips end up looking magenta, like a full-on lipstick, but this one doesn't do that. This one is so nourishing, great for every day. Really, really heals the lips, and they feel amazing. The Jouer Lip Enhancer. I believe it's called yeah essential lip enhancer. I actually have it over my lips right now my lip color It is more of a glossy feel It doesn't give a tint and it's just a conditioning lip treatment and it smells like soft roses to me This one is so good. Oh my gosh, like amazing Brazilian kiss uh, I don't know how you say it, but Koopa Cho. I don't know I'm not gonna go for it even though I just did but from Sol de Janeiro right here, and they're the brand that makes the bum bum cream that's so popular, which I love as well. Lip butter, great for every day. I'm almost out, that's all I have left. It is so good. I'm gonna go pick up another one, and then one for Glenn because he loves this one. It tastes like um, cocoa butter. It tastes really good on the lips. You guys already know my favorite lip sleeping mask, Laneige. Uh, I love apple lime. It's one of my favorite scents right now. I also love the grapefruit and the original berry. This is my go-to. This is what I will keep using. And now I have Glenn hooked on to it. It is 20 bucks, but you can get some of them for like 15 on Amazon. I'll link some down below because they do have different scents. You don't have to just get it on their web website. So yeah, I've ordered all of mine from Amazon and $15 too for some of them. So I know the original scent is 20 in Sephora, but favorite lip mask. And then my affordable lip balm that I loved, and this is from Sunbum, and this is Pineapple, has SPF of 30. Right now, Glenn is using the minty one. The minty one is so good, and so is the pineapple one. Great affordable one. I saw that they just came out on Ulta, so you can pick them up on there, and highly recommend them. Very nice and light, silky on the lips, and actually nourishing way more than like the regular chapstick brand. It actually feels like it's doing something. Now, let's just go randomly through my lip products. I have high-end and also drugstore. I think I kind of have like a half and half ratio yeah I think I do let's start off with one of my favorite formulas and it was from buxom oh my gosh I feel like whenever I watched a video I didn't really see a lot of people talk about these I don't know maybe the people who I watch don't talk about these but these are the Vava plump and then I have the shade beg for mauve and then taupe it off I don't have what is the one I love it's a melon one that one I was obsessed with I finished it but I'm on my second uh, second two. Oh, the honeydew. It's like a beautiful melon nude. Oh my I've mentioned in my favorites within the year, but the formula is so nice. I'm currently wearing top it off. It probably kind of died out right now, but they first go on like as a gloss. It's very nourishing. And then they kind of dry to like a lipstick, but a super creamy formula. It doesn't stay glossy within the whole entire day, but this one is so pretty. Look at that, taupe it off. And then I also picked up a pink shade, and this one is called Beg for Mauve. I know they ended up sending me, actually, they sent me Taupe It Off and the Honeydew before, and I already had them. And then they sent me those two, and I was like, that's so funny. Those are the two shades I picked out. But then when um, Sephora had like a sale or something, I picked up this one right here, perfect pink shade. It's just so moisturizing, amazing formula, super pigmented. Now for a drugstore product, I love the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cremes. I use these for like everyday wear just to give a really nice gloss. They're not like super long wearing, but they just look really beautiful and they're very 
easy and mess free. I don't know, they're kind of like user friendly. You just place them on, you don't really have to look in the mirror. This is the only one I have. I was like obsessed. I ended up buying like two of each shade, this one and like a nude one, or no, three different ones. And I had like six total and I used all the other ones. That's how much I use them. Um, like I said, they don't last long, so you can kind of go through them, but uh, you can get discounts, you know, through Ulta and the 350 off and all that. But the I don't know about plumping the lips, but they just feel super comfortable, give a little nice shade. Uh, great for every day. These are just my favorite to taste, to place on. They feel so cushiony and I love the feeling of them. Like they're probably one of my favorite formulas and I hope she comes out with like different shades like she just did, but I'm gonna show you. Fenty Beauty and this is the Gloss Bomb. I have the original one which is called Fenty Glow and then I just recently got the new shade Fussy. Fussy is so pretty, it's like the new pink one right here, it's a beautiful lip topper, but these feel so comfortable on the lips. They taste really good. I know if you guys have one, you know what I'm talking about. And then here's the original one, the first gloss bomb right here. I also have a pearl one. I saw it and I was like, oh, and I was like really good during Christmas time and I waited in line for like 20 minutes just to buy this one because I was like, the pink is just so pretty. It's beautiful on, on its own. Also as a lip topper, I love them both. I wear them both ways and just so comfortable on the lips. Like my lips will never ever look or feel chapped whenever I wear that product. An everyday color that I went through two or three, I wanna say maybe this is my third one. Man, I have a lot of third times of charm. MAC lip stick and this one is uh, kind of sexy oh my gosh per this is all I have left of it it is a perfect every single day color I love it it's like a, just a nudie pink more on the pink side kind of depending on the pigment of your lips as well but I am pretty picky when it comes to MAC lipsticks. Not every single one works out for me. But this formula, which one is, it's a matte, which I'm very surprised of. I just remembered, yeah, it is a matte. And usually the matte ones are just super crappy on my lips and they make them chippity chap chap. But this one stays moisturized and creamy on my lips like within the day. And this one is like my perfect, perfect shade and my favorite color from the line. These were a definite like, I don't know, like a surprise to me because I'm not really big on pixie makeup. I think they do their skincare way better than their makeup, but these lip products right here, what are they called actually? They're just called the Matte Last Liquid Lip. I have Pastel Petal and Matte Beige. I have other shades that I use, but I've used the red one. You guys were asking about my red lipstick in... Oh, in the video that I did for what I got for Christmas, I was wearing the red one. Super nice and thin, uh, super comfortable, just amazing, like I love it. And here's pastel right here. What is this one called? Sorry, pastel petal. This one is matte beige. Oh, I've worn this one so much. I actually have a second one. And this looks like the pastel petal except it's more on the nude side. Perfect, I highly recommend this shade. You will fall freaking in love. I like the packaging too. It's not anything like super special, but I like how small it is. I like that it doesn't feel cheap at all. And I am obsessed with this. It's probably like my favorite product from their makeup line, period. Because like I said, I'm not like the biggest fan of their makeup. These liquid lips, they blew them out of the water. I think it's probably like their number one seller. At least I would think so. Then I have to give it up for collab makeup. I do have the Matte Addiction line. This is probably my, my favorite product from our line, our liquid lipsticks. We launched the launched these like the first round and then we all came out with our custom colors thank you so much to everybody supporting peachy keen now this one is one of my favorite shades and this one is non-stop right here sorry my sd card got full so sorry i don't think if you guys saw that we have non-stop right here and a blossom some pretty colors again you can still get my peachy keen a lip color it's available online still currently right now on the sally beauty website or also club website and then we have like a ton of different shades, super lightweight, comfortable, thin. It really reminds me of like the Pixie formula, except I think that our formula is actually a little bit more long wearing. And then I have the Flower Beauty. I just grabbed them all, I don't know why. The Miracle Matte Lip, because all my other lipsticks are like scattered within my makeup bags, but these I had all together. I had to take a break from these because because this is all I was wearing for like a really long time. Some of my favorite shades, oh my gosh, is Rosewood. It's like a formula I've never felt before. It's very fluffy and whipped. Okay, not fluffy, but whipped. And it's just so comfortable on the lips. Lots of pigment too. So they last a really long time and they feel super conditioning. That one is Rosewood. I loved that one. This one is Bear Honey. This one... 
I can't really wear on its own. I have to wear like a lip liner underneath or I have to kind of combine it with others. I usually mix this one with the other shades just to kind of make them more nude. And then, oh, this one is a stunning one for like spring or summer or whenever. Crimson Touch, super bright and fun. I just love the formula of these, like, look at that. So much pigment. Like, if you guys haven't tried them out, oh my gosh, like, definitely a top formula. Obviously, it was in my 2018 faves, but just so good, so whipped, and so different than anything I have ever tried out. Like, I can't even compare it to any other formula ever. It's so unique. And then a formula that did it really well was NARS and they came out with the velvet lip glides. These are super cushiony as well. If anything, I would say that the Fenty, if you like the feeling of the Fenty, you would love these ones. These ones don't feel as sticky, very like cushiony, like that same comfortable feeling. This one is in the shade Cozy Mel or Cozumel. It is, oh my gosh, they're so nourishing and conditioning and so comfortable. I like anything that's gonna be just nourishing to the lips, period, because I don't like it when my lips look chapped or the life is sucked out of them. It's like looking like raisins. Bound, like a beautiful, cool tone lilac. Oh my gosh, this one is, they're amazing, you guys. I'm telling you, this one is definitely like the new lip, I would say, to splurge on. Before I used to say like the Dior Kiss or the YSL lipsticks are like a luxury splurge. No, these NARS velvet ones are the best, I would say. Like high end wise, my top favorite, especially when it comes to pigment. And then this one is called the Lip Lacquer Vinyl or Full Vinyl Lip Lacquer. This is San Santo Domingo. Basically, it feels just like the Velvet Lip Glides. Uh, it's just a little bit more glossy and more liquidy and you'll see it's like more of a liquid lip it's this one right here so see it's more like a liquid lip but it still has that super comfortable feel the lip products that they launched like towards the end of the year or middle of the year on so good well no they had the lip gli glides out for a, a while then they launched new shades but this would probably be like my number one recommendation if you're gonna splurge on yourself and get yourself like a present or a new lippy for your birthday or whatever, I would say that one. My last lippy that I love were the L'Oreal, uh, <laughs> were the color reshines from L'Oreal. My favorite was Glossy Fawn. I showed this in a favorites before. Oh my gosh, second tube of this, I had to run out and go get another. It's just such a comfortable bomb, super easy every day right there. Beautiful shade. This is all I have left of my second tube. It is great. So nourishing. What is it called? Sparkling Rose. Just so comfortable, balmy, super nice and light. If you want something super easy, where it's one of those lipsticks that you don't have to look in the mirror. It's like super user friendly, like this one right here. You just place it and you're good to go. I just love anything moisturizing. As you can see, I didn't have any true like matte lipsticks, except like the Miracle Matte, the Pixie, and the Collab, just because uh, these ones are super lightweight and they don't suck the life out of you. I find that so many formulas do that. So yeah, and that was it. Those were all my favorites. Like I went through them so quick, but as you can see, lots of nourishing formulas. I'm sure you guys would appreciate that. I don't think a lot of people are like, hey, I want a matte lipstick that's gonna make my lips look crusty. Give it to me. <laughs> as far as lip scrubs, the now that I think about it, I don't truly have like any favorites. I know people love the e.l.f. one, but for some reason I started using that and it started smelling really funky and I was like, this needs to go and I've only had it for a couple weeks. But I do recommend the Ulta Beauty Brown Sugar Lip Scrub. I've used this before. This is like a newer one. Super, super gritty. Like I'm talking about it's rough. So if you got some dead skin that just not want to go, I would definitely try that. I said go. <laughs> All right, my finables. Well, that is it for my best of 2018 lippies. Let me know if you guys have tried out any of these formulas. They are my fave, like the creme de la creme, the ones I wore all the time, the ones I was constantly putting in my in my makeup bag or my purse or I have like some in my car. I know I have some of these lip products, like all different shades scattered all over because I was obsessed with these lip products. All right, my final bowls. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Give your girl a thumbs up. Also leave down below your favorite drugstore or high-end lippies that you thought that just blew you away or if you tried any of the ones that I have previously 
previously mentioned. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, for my next video, I'm super excited because I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite Amazon products. I've been dying to do this video because I have a lot of Amazon products that I absolutely love and are just, oh my gosh, so, so freaking amazing. But yeah. All right, my final boss, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Caffeine mornings, vodka nights Gotta be awake, gotta live this life Hoping there's more, but knowing there's less We gotta keep going and hope for the best